welcome Wolf and Wolfettes. We are back with the brilliant God of War Ragnarok on the PlayStation 5 and we are playing through this game on No Mercy difficulty and I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now in a previous video we left Mimir and Brock back at Freya's camp and me and Freya have started heading towards the location where we think the spell has been cast that is currently keeping Freya bound to Midgard. Now I think we are very very close to that location now so we're probably going to be starting off this video with a bit of a boss fight so let's get straight into things. Now uh, for those of you that haven't seen the previous few videos um, I'm currently dealing with Covid so I'm feeling a little bit rough at the moment. I keep having horrible coughing fits. I'm feeling a little bit breathless and I'm also feeling a little bit slower than usual. So uh, if I have any coughing fits in this video, it's currently the 30th of November, but if I have any coughing fits in this uh, video, or I seem to be playing like an absolute noob more than normal, uh, I do apologize, but I am feeling a little bit more normal than I did in the previous three videos. So hopefully uh, things go terrifically, but yeah, there's a good chance this boss might kill me more times than it normally would. <laughs> but yeah, let's uh, get straight into things. How you doing, Freya? Are you enjoying being a bird? <laughs> Alright, which way are we going? Is there just going to be a chest down here, isn't there? Oh no, just some hack silver. Lovely. 104 hack silver. Very nice. But Kratos did explain to Freya quite a lot in the previous video about how he knows what it's like to lose a child and so on and so forth. Kratos actually spoke quite a lot about the Greek mythology in the previous video and his past. So it's uh, worth giving that video a watch because Kratos don't really talk about his past very often in these uh, in this new set of games. He's very, uh, very secretive about it. So it's nice to hear him talk about it. Especially his old daughter Calliope. Oh no. Alright, we're not going to go into a boss fight yet, but we're going to go into a mini boss fight first. Oh great. <laughs> That's one of Odin's captains. Be ready. Yeah, these are the travellers. You might remember these from God of War 4. They're a pain in the arse. <laughs> Oh shit, I dodged a bit too late then. Watch out! Bastard. Oh, fucking hell. I keep dodging so quick, man. I'm too I'm too fast. <laughs> That's the problem. I see the colours and I instantly like dodge or I block or and I'm not supposed to. You gotta be a bit slower. That's a flipping miracle, that is. Jesus. I think they're the travellers. Oh, lovely. What's that? Oh, just a uh, new relic. Not as good as the other relic. The one that just basically increases my melee damage. The most boring and basic relic in the game that I'll probably use for the entire playthrough. Fucking hell, alright Freya, relax love, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh dear, what's over here? 
Because there is supposed to be a chest. It's got to be somewhere in Vanaheim. I'm pretty sure it's somewhere in Vanaheim where I will get a brand new uh, light runic ability for my Leviathan axe. And it basically is like an Articuno ice beam. I think I spoke about it in the previous video because I thought I was going to find it. And I didn't find it. So yeah, I'm not sure where the hell that was. I'm pretty sure I found it in Vanaheim though. Maybe I'll find it during the side mission that we're going to do once we're finished in Vanaheim. Shut your stroppy mouth! Right? Shut up! I need to find loot. Because without loot, I don't upgrade Kratos, and then he becomes weak, and then he dies lots. And then you're never, ever, ever going to destroy the spell that's keeping you trapped in Midgard. So shut your filthy mouth, Freya. Flipping hell. The sassiness. Let's go. Jesus. <coughs> Maybe I'm just trying to prolong the inevitable. I thought we were at the boss by now, though. Uh oh, watch out. One of those grumpy flowers. Oh, for God's sake, more cranes. Oh, now we're very close. I'm pretty, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're very close now. Maybe this is the area where I get my uh, new ability. I think we are going to get attacked in this area, so we better be careful. Okay. Oh, hang on a minute, Kratos. Hang on a minute, Kratos. Back down, back down. There we go. I thought I saw Psych. Oh, watch out, watch out. Flip it. Oh, these are going to be the things that actually kill me. I think I got uh, snuck up on, but, well, they don't sneak up on me. <laughs> but I think I got uh, murdered by these nearly a couple of times in the previous few videos. It's like walking around a corner in Minecraft and there's just a creeper waiting there. It just blows up. But these are even worse, because they leave poison on the floor. So not only do you take damage from the pop, you then take damage from poison. Imagine if creepers were poisonous. They should do that in uh, Minecraft. I know you I know you meet the normal uh, creepers, and then you have like those powered up creepers, don't you? Ones that have like been very, very unlikely to be, but if they have been struck by lightning, they get powered up, don't they? Get those like blue rings random. It's been so bloody long since I played Minecraft, I might be talking absolute bullshit. <laughs> but I think there's like a powered up version of a, mine, of a, of a uh, creeper. It'd be nice if they had like different colour creepers, like purple, stuff like that, and they've got different elements. So like, they blow up and leave fire on the floor if they're orange, or they blow up and leave poison on the floor if they're green. I think that'd be pretty cool. But Minecraft has changed a lot since I played it. I only played it in the beta and alpha, <laughs> and a little bit of release as well. But yeah, not very much. So they might have added a lot of stuff since I played. Oh, alright, we've got to take it a long way then. There's a beam in the way, or a pillar. <coughs> Come on, give me something good. Okay, well, we've got a nice, a nice new light runic attack, but. Not for, not for the right weapon. Oh well, never mind. So what was the uh, point of me doing this? Was it literally just to get to that legendary chest? Oh, okay. Do not tell me to kill again. What? I killed to protect my son, to aid my friends. But I will be no one's monster. Never again. You don't get to make that choice. Not with the debt you owe me. I am not here for debts. I would always have helped you. So much has been taken from me, and I'm just supposed to let it all go? Freya. Enough. You're really starting to aggravate me, Freya. Like, you're really starting to piss me off, to be honest. Obviously, yeah, Kratos killed your boy, but he didn't do it on purpose, and he saved your life. So, you know, maybe it's time to shut the fuck up. <laughs> God! 
And he's already told you a massive chunk of his own life story, so... <coughs> God, you're making me so angry, I'm coughing, Freya. Have I got a resurrect? Yes, I do. Because we're probably going to need it. Oh, yeah, we are going to be close, because I think we go Let's back go. that way when we're done. It's just past those doors up ahead. Yep. All right. It's game time. Yep, here we go. I feel the source of the magic keeping me in Midgar. What is this place? My home. I was born here. That's well, a good place to uh, cast a spell to keep you bound to Midgard, the place where you were born. You can see that this is a place where you're going to do a boss fight. This is exactly the kind of place you'd walk into in like Elden Ring or Dark Souls. Exactly the kind of place you'd stroll into and then some dodgy king drops out of the sky with a big sword. <laughs> So you know there's going to be a boss fight in this kind of place. I might get myself killed though, so I could be on full health. <coughs> Hold on. Something's not right. Opin Bera. World tree roots bound in Odin's damn knots. That's how he did it. Come on! Oh, that's a chunky boy. The creature. It belongs to Odin? No. It protects Yggdrasil's roots wherever they are. Bastard was counting on it. Right. Basically, with this boss, you need to watch out for slams in the floor, laser me. shots, and swipes. They're the basic main attacks it does. I'm going to let it kill me, though, because I want to be on full health. So I'm just going to let it kill me. But this is uh, this is a, a like a, 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 a dragon sort of creature that protects the world tree. And because Odin has binded the spell in the world tree's roots, anyone that tries to save Freya, I guess, or break the spell... Is going to have to break the roots, and then this bastard's going to appear. So it's very smart from Odin, who is a who is the All Father, very smart man, bit of a prick as well though, isn't it? Needhog. I think I've seen a guy like this in World of Warcraft as well, actually. Yeah, you got to watch out for that. Sometimes he does it with both feet. Apologies for the gameplay. That's it. I'm not feeling the full ticket. <laughs> oh, yeah. The sharp fryer, I know. Oh, come on. I rolled out of it. I'm not, I'm not standing there. I'm laying there. I thought I rolled out of that. The creature. It belongs to Odin. No. All right, Kratos, get your bloody axe out, mate. Why are you all the way back there? Go after it. Shut up, Freya. I'll fire. I want to fire. Oh, you freed it now, Kratos. Uh, yeah, when it does that, you got to slam the floor. Oh, it's too far away. you got to get used to that, because he does that a lot. And here's the double swipes. Yeah, I'll probably do better now he's more challenging, because now I know all of the things he's going to bloody do. It's still in the way. I need to get to those roots. I know. 
Yeah, why don't you peck his eyes out, Freya? So they're just barking orders at me. Fucking hell, man. Fuck it, what's with a double swipe, mate? It's so quick. <laughs> Relax, buddy. Oh no. Oh, okay, okay, I panicked and I thought I fucked it up. Come on, Freya, his breath stinks. Yeah, you've got to uh, roll left and right on this bit. And as you uh, take down health bars from... Uh, as you take down the uh, health bar, you'll drop health stones. Normally with each bar she loses, so that's good. This bit you've got to make sure you uh, roll away. You get smacked with it, you're fucked. Just trying to, she, she switches between all three locations now. Bit of a nightmare. But you can stun her and do a lot of damage on some bits. Ain't we supposed to do something where we like burn up? Or we have to, or make sure you roll on these bits? There's something we gotta do where we need to like burn something or freeze something. Oh god, watch out for this bloody bit. Can't do shit with her up there. Your axe aim for my situation. There you go. Right, she's gonna take some big damage there. <coughs> See how she dropped some health stuns. Uh, watch out, this bit is probably the, uh, oh fuck, yeah, I always forget, because she got the bit where she spits and the bit where she does the, like, hoover move. <laughs> right, here we go, do the same thing over here, but with a blade of chaos this time. Oh fuck, I rolled too quick. Oh, and again. Oh, what's that all about? You're not supposed to do it four times, you cheeky devil. I think there's a health stone back here, yeah. Your shield could be of use. I know Freya, but I always think he's gonna spit at me. She's gonna spit at me. So I panic. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, great. I can't do nothing with it up there, Freya. One more hit and I'm dead. I've got a resurrection stone, but... I know. You gotta do this whole bit again if you die, so I don't really wanna die. It is more desperate! Yes, be ready for anything. Oh, 
Okay, we did that properly this time. Watch out for that shit. It attacks through well tears. Oh, does it, Freya? Well, goddamn. But it just fucking worked out, I'll have. Oh, yeah, Crayos punched the fucking head out of it. <laughs> you punched that dragon. No need for that, Kratos. Oh, we're not done, I don't think. Oh, well, I've got uh, some Sparta Rage. I've got to wait for it to open up its. I might have to wait for it to open up its. Uh... It's opening its stomach again. Get ready. Like that. Okay, there you go. go back in. It's not actually doing anything wrong. It's just defending the world tree. It's his job. I need to murder it. That is true. Just close the portal on his head. Oh, that, you're a bitch, Freya. <laughs> One bitch. No need for that. Poor guy. <coughs> that went pretty well. We didn't, have to, uh, didn't even have to use the resurrection stone. It's over. It's, it's really over. And now that you have what you seek, I suppose this is the point where I forgive you. 
or I kill you. Have you decided? I don't think I can do either. <coughs> There's still a part of me that is so angry. And it'll always be. It'll always be angry. But no. You are not the one who needs to die. I do see that. Thing that's happened between us. No need to explain. Not to me. Not for that. I do not regret saving your life. And never will. But the choice between life and death should have been yours to make. I should not have robbed you of that choice. Oh, I think I know what this is. I was going to say, what's that? Amulet is a unique item with expandable slots for enchantments. Yeah, this is basically like a necklace. Yeah, and as you go through the game, you're going to find uh, these little Yggdrasil, uh, uh, whatever they are, and it allows you to keep repairing it, and then you can eventually have like nine slots for different gems. And then you could put like different combinations of gems. If you have like three of the same type of gem, you get an ad additional perk and stuff like that. And you could find like rarer gems in like harder, harder areas with like bosses and end game stuff. So it's very good amulet. This is very good. Lovely. See like this one right here. Um, when you when you equip it, let me uh, let me just unsock it. When I equip it, it's gonna uh, increase. It's gonna uh, reduce my cooldown by a plus ten. But then, uh, if I have three in the Midgard set, it will give me a set bonus that increases all the damage of all of Kratos' ranged attacks and abilities based on his number of cooldown. So if I've got very high cooldown, I will do a lot more damage with my ranged attacks and stuff like that. When you've got three of the same set, so it's very good. This uh, amulet, it's very good. <coughs> all right. Sweet. <laughs> Greatly increase. Probably want to go with a stun on that. You level these up and they uh, become gold rank the more you use them. Oh, sweet. This one, we probably want more element, don't we? Yeah. Because when we use the Serpent Snare, we already cover them quite a lot of frost. So we've greatly increased its elemental damage. So our elemental... Uh, Charge so this wall, yeah, that'll be great. We should be freezing people a lot with that. Lovely, that <laughs> root of the problem. Myself again, I 
I suppose it's time to face my brother. And after that? I don't know. It's been a long time since I've had a choice. Let me live with that for a moment. <coughs> okay. Well, uh, don't be too happy, because I'm sure we're going to get attacked on the way back to camp. Things never go smoothly in this game. Even though we just had a fight of a massive dragon, I'm sure there'll be something else to attack me in the next 10 seconds. <laughs> there normally is. Uh, we've also got a Chaos Flame, or whatever it was called, so we can upgrade our um, our uh, Blades of Chaos now, once we get back to uh, Sindri and Brock. We can take this way back to the camp. I can help with the vines. Oh, lovely. Now we can start her using Freya as a companion. As you can see her stuff, well you probably can't see, my head's in the way. But her stuff has appeared in the corner. But basically you can do that, and then boom. There's a lot of stuff you're going to have to use these runic arrows for, a lot of puzzles to solve. Your brother seemed open to your return. <coughs> I'm sure he'd love nothing more than for everything to go back to how it was. Leaving the responsibilities of leadership to me. Because the runic arrows empower your elements, so you do a bit more damage. And obviously these weird roots that are growing are uh, very strong, so just using my normal Blades of Chaos does nothing. They need to be powered up by the runic arrow. Well, there's something's going to happen, because, yep, yeah, see, I told you, we don't, we don't get a moment's rest. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out. I don't flip it out, you like that. so good that we've got uh, Freya here to tell the Spartan general the location of enemies because what the hell would I do if Freya wasn't telling me the location of enemies? God, I'd, be, I'd, be, I'd be doing good, wouldn't I? Oh, sweet! Send Odin my regards. You use your anger effectively. Well, you learn to use what you have. Don't start flirting with her, Kratos. Don't start flirting with her. We already have got Atreus being a simp to tear. We don't need you being a Freya simp. <laughs> what a gentleman. It's not as though I want to be angry with Freya. He's my brother. He was the most important person in the world to me for half my life. Well, I had somebody that was very important to me for half of my life, and now, uh, you know, they are the main source of all pain that I feel. So it's just how it is, Freya. It's just how it is. You just have to learn to live with it. It's painful, but you just gotta learn to live with it. Not much you can do, really, is there? These plants are the same as those we saw earlier. Frost should make quick work of their poison. Yeah, we can use her runic arrows. I want to tell you before Freya does. We can use her ru runic arrows to freeze something. So we can do that. And then we can freeze it. And then we can recall the, uh, the, the axe. And it will stay frozen for a little while. But it doesn't stay frozen for a long time. So make sure you're quick. If you've ever got to do puzzles like this, make sure you're very quick. See? Fucking hell, that was a bit more quicker than I thought it would be. <laughs> right, do we have to go this way, I think? How the hell did that hit me? I, I slapped it with a flipping... Uh, I smacked it. 
How did it still get off a cheeky shot before it died? <coughs> Little devil. Oh yeah, if you want to remove the sigils because you've placed them in the wrong place that from the runic arrows, you press L2 and circle. So like if, I, if I've shot it there by accident and I want to get rid of it, L2 and circle and it'll go. Just be careful you don't accidentally press L1 and circle because then you use your relic and waste it. And I'm saying that because I've done it countless times off camera. So many bloody times. I just heard that flower. Watch out, those are wisps. Powerful manifestations of runic magic. These wisps are a piece of shit. Because they don't take damage from anything you do unless they've been hit by like some sort of magical arrow. Whether it's Atreus's sonic arrow or Freya's runic arrows. Could I ever think of this place as home again? After all that's happened. Obviously, we can't do anything involved in this yet. We have to come back another time. Much, much, much later in the game. and Hardy are in Vanaheim? We learned the giants rescued them from Odin and brought them here. And look, the sunlight wakes the sleeping roots. See how they stretch to welcome the sun? Oh, lovely. Beautiful, no? A far cry from the sheets of Midgard snow I've grown accustomed to. I don't know. Nothing wrong with a bit of the snow. Eastern migration. It's just as I remember it. At least the whole realm hasn't fallen to predators and occupiers. I guess there's still something to be fought for here. Something to defend even after so much damage has been done. It just sounds... Uh, it sounds very weird hearing you talk calmly, Freya. Because you've been shouting and screaming at me for like the whole of this playthrough. <laughs> so hearing you talk calmly now sounds very weird. But yeah, Skull and Hattie are the ones that chase the sun and the moon. That we see in the prophecy. And as you can see, when the time of day changes, the uh, realm changes and new places become accessible and stuff like that, which I mentioned uh, when we first arrived at Vanaheim. <coughs> yeah. Apologies I don't just sprint like this through the whole game. It just feels a bit, you know, you wouldn't do this in real life, would you? So I kind of just walk. Apologies, I always forget I'm doing it. I mean, mostly because I'm just admiring the beauty of this game. But yeah, I do it in every game I play. I apologise. <laughs> and it's not exactly a game where you're going to be being stealthy. Oh God, what was that? Oh, you can't break these ones. I think you can only break them when you destroy like that main bulb there, maybe? Does that kill it? No. Nah. <coughs> Fuck off shooting at me, you little weirdo. Is it fired him? There we go. Yeah, so when you see these little turds, see, look, when you see these little turdy flowers that constantly shoot at you, it doesn't do a lot of damage, but they're aggravating, you know, and they're a distraction, a nuisance. So when you see them, oh, you've got to look for that main bulb, and then that, if you destroy that, it will kill them as well. What is this? I don't know, but giants definitely crafted it. There's two wolves represented here. Perhaps a connection to our friends in the sky. A mystery for another time. <laughs> I already know what it is, but I'm not going to spoil it. All right, how long we've been recording for? Oh, it says we're past 40 minutes, but I think I might have ballsed up my intro twice. Right, let's see if there's any battle around here. Yeah, there might be. 
All right, I'm going to have to end it now, Wolf Orbits. So, thanks for watching, Wolf Orbits. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, next time, we're going to go back to Freya's camp. And uh, I think <coughs> then it will be us going back to Sindri's house and confronting Atreus about what he did, sneaking off and that. Or we got a side mission with Freya, where I think she just wants to deal with just everything that happened between her and Odin and just, you know, come get some closure. So we're probably going to help her do that instead. And then we'll go back and uh, give bloody Atreus a spanking for being a naughty boy. But yeah, thanks for watching, Wolf Let's Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like, share, and join the pack today.